Hello all, good evening and uh, good afternoon to all also because uh, we have some people from different uh, time zone actually. So uh, today we are going to take a special webinar on how to select, how to handpick good domain name from GoDaddy expiry auction, from expiring domain list, from Namejet auction as well. Right. And today we have a special speaker with us, Harmandeep Singh, who have been in this industry since I think um, maybe it's been five, six years, Harmandeep. 2019. Right. It's been uh, five years and he's selling four figure, four figure USD, five figure USD domain names as well. I mean, mainly he's into dot com and he is also uh CEO of Namoxi.com, who uh, I mean, that is a brokerage firm. And apart from that, he sells domain and he's brand name consultant as well. Apart from that, he wears many hats. He runs Digital Marketing Institute as well in New Delhi. So, Harmandeep, welcome to the floor. I'm Jeff Odial for you guys. And Harmandeep, uh, I would like to. Uh, I mean, invite you and please introduce yourself and tell the audience what kind of domaining you are in and what are your sales. By the way, same color, Harmandeep, today. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, <clears throat> all you know that I am from Namoxi and I am into domain investment uh, since like uh, 2019. And uh, uh, from starting, I bought some geo names at that time and uh, do out uh, did outbound for that names, and uh, sold some names at that time. After that, uh, uh, like I am into like uh, brandable names and uh, one word names, and uh, now I am into like dot net also, uh, dot co also dot. IO also I buying like these uh, extensions also so I sold many like uh, names in four figure uh, basically uh, I have a not too much portfolio I have only like 230 to 240 names in my portfolio and that I listed on like Namoxi Namoxi is a like brandable uh, domain name marketplace it's my own marketplace uh, from where I sell many good names and uh, you can see uh, uh, you can visit my namoxi and you can see the sales like related sales which i did uh, in the past and uh, if you have any question regarding uh, like domain names then i will surely help you for it so uh yes sir and herman you can say uh, hello to our friends from Morocco, Algeria, Spain, Pakistan, Kyrgyzstan, and yeah, and I see. Uh, there are a lot of uh, like uh, peoples uh, joined this webinar. I am uh, glad that you joined this webinar. I will surely help you for, to find like good names from GoDaddy, uh, like closeout and expired names. So hello to all <laughs> thank you yes uh, like uh, before herman i would like to share one uh, important slide with you right uh, wait for a moment see before booking any domain name you have to uh, i mean you have to consider few points in uh, your mind before uh, booking any before registering or before buying from aftermarket you have to consider a couple of points in your mind right which are i mean some of you may already know just just, just i am reminding refreshing your knowledge and see name should be short and memorable and it is not applied to geo names or it is not applied to geo emd names because sorry EMD names are always longer. Let's say two, two words, three words, sometimes four words, sometimes five words also. And we have seen so many friends from our industry. I mean, they were able to sell 
फाइव फिगर नॉट फाइव फिगर फाइव वर्ड्स डोमेन नेम फोर वर्ड्स डोमेन नेम ओके एंड 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 लाइक लाइक फॉर मी इट इज गुड टू बुक मैक्सिमम three words domain name and uh, i i think harman has also sold uh, many four figure uh, uh, sorry four uh, words domain name and apart from uh, apart from that domain name should be brandable and unique see where you can see hash hash symbol that means that is applied only for the domain investor and all the other points applied to the startup to the companies to the blogger to the e-commerce companies who wants to buy who wants to acquire a domain name okay and domain name should be a uh, keyword rich i mean uh, see if you are uh, going to sell domains names to lawyer lawyers then that should have uh, keywords similar to their industry like divorce lawyer like criminal lawyer like bankruptcy attorney right apart from that uh, and desirable tld personally i like dot com everybody likes dot com dot com is a king right and for beginner we always advise to look for dot com names and start slow start slow don't invest your money in hurry domain names are not going anywhere there are there are lakhs of domain name expiring daily which we are going to discuss today right don't be in hurry start slowly learn uh, from our webinar and you can search for the more resources in google and youtube as well okay and uh, i mean desirable tld i, I prefer dot com and I, and i want every beginner to start with dot com apart from dot com i'm i'm also selling dot io like uh, herman said he is into dot uh, io dot com maybe dot net maybe dot ai as well right and check if that domain name is seo friendly or not i mean it is applicable to brand name owners not domainers clean history and reputation is important that domain should have a clean history for a domainer you know sometime a uh, maybe previous mm -hmm. website owner has created lot of spammy links on that maybe they are phishing maybe they are doing crime using that domain name you know what i mean maybe they are sending uh you know lacks of newsletters or spammy or i mean uh, phishing newsletter every day you have to check that as well for that you can use norton websef tool norton websef tool apart from that you can check uh, the uh, i mean um, cleanliness and history of that domain name in expired domains dot net as well okay exclusive that domain should be exclusive social media compatibility here social media compatibility compatibility means you can you you should be able to register a social media handle for that in my case in many domainers case what they do they also try to figure out those domain names for which they can uh register social media handle like facebook page twitter account Insta instagram professional page linkedin page you know they they they, they create those pages also because if you are going to pitch your domain name to some uh, uh your uh, potential customer if you have all the page with you that will obviously always add some extra value okay and please disclaimer i'm not talking about emd or geo emd here i'm talking about keyword rich domain name like uh, like uh, automatic cars like self driven cars.com i mean uh, this kind of domain name i'm not talking about like criminal lawyer in new york.com right and you should follow industry trends and future relevance what is what you can see in the future you can learn from you can always learn from the google 
and that for me that name should pass radio uh, test radio test means if i am telling you the domain name you should be able to figure out the right spelling of the domain name okay you should not ask hey what is the spelling of your domain name okay uh, yes, some misspelled domain names are also there. If we talk about Flickr.com, Flickr.com, they don't have proper spelling. In case of Quicker.com, they don't have proper uh, spelling. They played with the spelling. They removed certain characters just, I mean, for the sake of getting trademark, okay, and getting some uh, brandability as well. And that should be... Uh, in obviously in market demand and that domain should have development potential. Okay. That means before whatever Harmandir teaches you today, just, uh, uh, I mean, before buying any domain from aftermarket, before registering any domain from aftermarket, think about your potential customer. Do they run ads? Okay, you can type there that, that domain name into Google to see if there are any ads running because that will enhance the value of the domain name because your potential customer might be spending already on, uh, you know, ads and ads are big budgets game and they might buy your domain name. Okay, and what is, and uh, figure out one more thing, what this domain gonna change in their business? Okay, is that domain can change their brand name? I mean, uh, whether you are going uh, to uh, sell them a shorter domain name, whatever they have, okay, and how they will make money or how they will increase their internet pages with that domain name. Sometimes, sometimes they might be having a domain name with with hyphen, and you are you are going to pitch them a domain name without hyphen. That is also a possibility, right? So, uh, and 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 today we will be speaking about the expired domain names or the domain names which is in expiring auction. Why domain expires? Because because people don't renew domain name. That's why domain expires. Okay. Why they don't renew? Sometimes they might change their business. They might change their business idea. Sometimes they are sick. Sometimes they forget their domain name. Sometimes people, I mean, expire. I mean, anything can happen. Sometimes there could be any, uh, you know, differences in their partnership, their co-founders and all, right? So, because you have to renew your domain every year, okay? Unless you have booked your domain for 10 years, domain names can be booked maximum for 10 years. If you have booked domains for 10 years, uh, but in that case also, your domain gonna expire 11th year, right? And process is simple. Whenever domain is expired, uh, that registrant, that owner will get 30 days of grace period, sometimes 20 days, sometimes 40 days. It depends upon the policy of the registrar. Registrar like GoDaddy, Name.com, uh, Enom.com, Register.com, BigRock.in, there are so many. Okay. So after that grace period, that domain name goes into expiring auctions or go daddy close out auction or sometime they are uh, you know back ordered by some dominators in namejet.com in that case you can uh, you know uh, uh, bid on those names and, uh, and and i mean there's one more thing back order also and we will uh, show you that thing in Practically, and today Harman Deep will show you how to get good domains from GoDaddy closeouts. We will also explore expireddomains.net and Harman, we will also explore today how to explore, how to 
figure out good domains in namejet.com as well. So, Harman, now floor is yours. Please take a charge. Yeah, sure. Yep. Sir, this will stop other things. Okay. Ah, okay. stop me. So, you'll see the 100% practical thing today. And we are going to book a couple of domains also. Disclaimer is, I mean, domain hume pasand aana chahiye. If we like domain name, we will definitely going to book. Or see, if we are going to book any domain name, you also have, uh, I mean, total liberty to book that domain name before us. Because that's a community, right? You have total flexibility. You have total liberty to book that domain name before us. But we will try to book some domain name, Harman or I. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, screen RI, sir? Yes, yes. We can see that. Okay. Okay. This is the Moxie. Uh, this is my platform uh, where I selling my names. Uh, I use like other aftermarkets also. And uh, here you can see my portfolio. This is my own portfolio uh, from like... Uh, and uh, if you want to see my sales, uh, then I can share you the sales. So the few sales are in the bottom of that domain name. Here your it's sales from, also. Yeah, the BoseFactory.com, Tier.org, Accessible.org, RedBull.co, Pixigun.com, Mercator.net. A uh, lot of sites are uh, working. Uh, recently, I sold like Sabo.co and uh, the rolling casino.com also and this one is like three uh three uh, three to four word name so you can see that new day healthcare.com uh, that i sold also so uh you can visit these names and you can see the sites also some sites are working nice and uh, these are my sales few sales like a uh, lot of sales there but i shared some like their uh, logos also so uh, for a domain name uh, first you have to choose uh, the like uh, expired domains.net you can find the good names here and also you can join auctions.godaddy.com you can find good names here also uh, basically, I use uh, the mostly the expired names and also sometimes like the GoDaddy auction platform also to find the names from the closeout also. So uh, from where we start, like, sir, uh, we can start with expired names. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, Arman, we should yeah. start with GoDaddy closeout. Okay. Okay. And okay. after that, we will show in expiredsdomain.net like how many, uh, I mean, we have so many filters there. Okay. So, right. Then we can go to expiredsdomain.net. Then we can take uh, namejet.com. Right. Okay. Okay. So, I will share some uh, tools with you. Uh, that uh, you can find uh, the tools will help you to find good names and uh, you can research by that tools also. Sure, sure. You are so, free to share any tool, and I will prefer uh, you know, like tools are free or uh, I mean with freemium version. Yeah, sure. So uh, let me show the like uh, live. Manmeet and uh, Harmandeep, unmute yourself, please. Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> so let's start with the name which I bought uh, some few days, like few months back. 
let me show you it is in my account i bought the this name the turner therapy.com so you can see the turner therapy uh, i listed it for like 3500 dollar and uh, why i buy uh, why i bought this name uh, i bought this name first of all from the godaddy auction platform uh, like the godaddy uh, close out from the close out platform for how much amount uh, maybe i uh, spent like 30 dollar i think 30 so plus that like means the... aapka... Ke ho gaya, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, on this name, I got some offers also uh, from the Afternic uh, and as well as like my own platform from like this. And but uh, this name is still here. Uh, see, uh, what I do, uh, I made a list of some keywords like trending keywords and uh, I save it to, in my laptop. Whenever I want to uh, find names, then I put that keyword in this like advanced search platform and I buy that like uh, then I and then I start like research if I find some good names. So what tools I use at uh, that time? Let me show you. So here is the keyword. You can see advanced search. Here are the extensions. OK, here is the age and uh, the type of uh, you want like expired auction names if you want to buy names from the expired now so public auction uh, public buy now close out uh, value price domains and offer and counters so what i do first of all i put my keywords like if i have a keyword like therapy then i put that keyword in this and after that uh, i select like dot com then I go to like close out and then I apply filter. So therapy, counseling, here there are a lot of keywords which I uh, I made a list of around uh, 40 to 50 keywords and that keywords uh, I got from the other platform because uh, 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 like daily I see the sales uh, on Twitter, uh, the name bio, and uh, I checked the keywords. So I made a list of many keywords. And uh, <clears throat> so I checked them like one by one also, or you can put more keywords here uh, after like space, then you can find more like names. Here you can see the names, uh, which I like filter with like therapy, the beauty therapy, uh, the spelling is wrong. Here you can see Inferno therapy. Inferno therapy is like the time left is two hours. Here you can filter with like age also because uh, the age domains have like uh, good potential customers. So let me tell you, uh, I find that Turner therapy from here and then I uh, start my research for the name because I like that name. Then I go to, first of all, I go to .tv, the tool which I use mostly. Then I put that Turner therapy here. And here you can see there are like lot of uh, names with the Turner therapy. Here you can see the Turner therapy the exact match.com and .co.uk, the registered, A Turner Therapy, Barbara Turner Therapy, Charles Turner Therapy. Here you, uh, here you can see the 26 domain match with this like keyword. So this is a good sign for the, like if you want to sell that name because there are a lot of potential customers, but it's not like about, because you have to see the, websites also the websites are working or not because uh, if the websites are working then there are a the lot of potential chance that the uh, domain will be sell soon for you 
so after that you can see uh, you can search it on like google.com also see the leads you can use uh, any turner therapy like this turner therapy hyphen counseling turner therapy services these are the websites which are working if you see one by one you can see there are a lot of customers who are using this particular name in their like domain name so there are chances turner therapy services rachel turner therapy turner therapy and wellness msm thermet therapy so these are the good sign if you uh, buying a name at like $30 or 20 uh, or $5 or $40 or $50 if you spend on that name first you research that name if you find the potential customers then there are a lot of chance that the domain will be sell soon uh, so first of all you have to find names from like auction and if you like a name then these are the two research like you can use the dot db tool see the potential domain names match and then go to like google you can see there are a lot of customers that jack jacky turner therapy and now if you see the websites there there are a lot of websites good websites also turner therapy services this one is also like the our like uh, potential customer because you can say them ki hey i have a shorter name yeah shorter, shorter name. name have you know shorter names have i mean great advantages over a longer name you know why longer names are difficult to remember difficult to write difficult to spell everything yes yes jacket and therapy there are a lot of like leads you can see the leads here and they are like in the dot db also these are the like two tools from which you can get an idea for particular name and if you want to see the history of that name like if you want to see that the history uh, like uh, japet also said previously that uh, there is no spammy site in the like uh, past you can uh, use the archive.org uh, like i got this is ke history dekho pehle kya hai agar website hai to maza aa gaya spammy hai to chhod do lakho domain free hote hain koi zarurat nahi hai ki aapko aaj hi domain lena hai kal le lo i mean go slow don't uh, you know the book every domain every day i mean you can book no. one domain a week if you follow yeah, the there are lot of opportunities you can, lot find, of opportunities. You can uh, have 30 40 domains in a year <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so there are lot of opportunities if you have a like time then spend that time on go daddy auction and close outs also you will find many good names because uh, i will share some names with you which i uh, like bought from like go daddy closed out and i sold them how much price i like paid and how much i like sell them so this is a website you can use to check the like uh, way back machine uh, you can check the website like past history of that website like you can see the 2018 any like uh, the november how the site was like showing so if there is any website there there are lot of chances because that advantage therapy someone bought that name uh, from the indiana police and uh, uh, he or she made like that website maybe he was therapist and uh, so there are the t uh, the, the three tools which i shared with you i use mostly uh, these tools to check the history of like domain names you can use like linkedin also to find some like leads there and and there are lot of chances that uh, the name will be sell soon so uh, i don't paid 
too much for that turner therapy dot com. It is a good opportunity for me, and that I bought from like GoDaddy Closeout. So these are the filters you can use uh, to find good names. And uh, first of all, you make a keyword list. The keywords which are like selling mostly in the market, the trend of that keyword and what is the industry behind that keyword like therapy, counseling, uh, dentist, uh, because dentists have most like most dentists have big money like they're in the pocket. So you can mm -hmm. use like dentist industry also. In like, US, uh, Canada, Australia and Europe. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. And okay. uh, if you if you check their charges for per hour, then you will know how much <laughs> they can pay for your domain name also. So these are the like uh, positive signs for the uh, like sign for the like domain names. If you use this strategy, then you will make a good money in this uh, like industry. Either you will be fail like so. Uh, yes, uh, like Jayapatol sir, can you say something about that name, Tanda Therapy? I mean, that's a good name. And apart from Herman's point, see, uh, you have to, you know, accept one thing. Like every child has different capacity or different skill sets, you know. Uh, and 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 everybody is unique. Same goes for domainer as well. Every domainer is unique. Every domainer has their own taste, their own style. Like Herman uh, told you, like I do such and such thing. What I do, I mean, addition to Herman Dev's thing, I also check. Maybe Herman's also checks. I also check their YouTube followers, their Instagram followers, their Facebook page followers, so that I can understand how valuable that domain name is for them. Okay, sometimes you find any domain for any influencer's page, but that domain name has to be generic. I always say, don't play with anyone's trademark. Don't play with anyone's goodwill. Like you have seen a famous YouTuber, uh, uh, like technical Guruji per se, or, or Kari Minati. I, I mean, don't go behind those names. Okay. Just go for generic names or semi-generic names like Harmandeep, uh, you know, uh, just explained to you. I also check. Uh, how many uh, you know uh, YouTube followers are there? I mean, yeah. uh, do they have page or not? Do they have Twitter account or not? Do have do they have LinkedIn page or not? If they have Facebook pages, if they have Instagram pages, I also check what is the frequency of their post. Do they posting daily, hourly, weekly? If they are so much active in their social media pages, if they are so much active in their Instagram pages, then that domain name becomes more valuable because they know the value of that particular domain name, that particular brand. Remember one yeah. thing. If I say brand, I don't mean trademark one. I mean generic one. Like uh, like uh, leather styler okay if any influencer is running a page a youtube channel or uh, you know or, or a website with the name of leatherstylerglobal.com if you find leatherstyler.com you can sell that domain to him because that is not bad faith because leather styler is a generic name. Styler is a dictionary word. Leather is a dictionary word. That goes for videocameras.com as well. You can sell video cameras to Nikon. You can sell video cameras to any other video cameras manufacturing company. But don't go for Nikon or Nikon. Don't go for Logitech word. Don't go for... Uh, 
I mean, codec word, just go behind a generic or semi-generic keywords. That's my, uh, I mean, addition to the Herman's point. Yeah, you are right, sir. Absolutely right. So uh, here I share some names like the New Day Healthcare dot com. Uh, this name. Uh, 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 that domain name you have sold? Yeah, I sold it. Hey guys, you are seeing such a wonderful webinar where Harman Deep is showing. Uh, I mean, whatever he's sold in the past, he's showing the. Uh, I mean, their potential customer had launched their site and what they are using. Okay, that is very important. Yeah, please continue. Yeah, this uh, like domain name, uh, like I am showing you the names which I bought from like GoDaddy auction, like close out for like uh, maximum $50 or $40. And uh, I sold it for like 3,500. This one is, uh, I sold it for like 2,500. Auction Empire, I sold it for like 2,800. But the Benchmark Coffee, uh, one more, the BenchmarkCoffee.com, uh, uh, I sold it for like $1,000 also. And Breakfast Chef. Harman, sorry to interrupt you. All, also, you can, you know, tell them, uh, from which platform you bought that domain? Yeah, I am. And, uh, and, and what were your holding period and yeah. the price? If you want to disclose, you can tell the price. If you don't want to, I mean, you no, have I am, the right. I, 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 am, I am disclosing the price also. There is no anything which I am like hiding with you. You can see my sales on like name bio also. I shared my sales uh, on name bio also. Uh, you can see uh, that also. So if you search for the Namoxi, all the sales are there. And I shared like the data with the like uh, like name by also. So uh, these names which I like share with you, the benchmarkcoffee.com, the few names which I am like sharing with you. Uh, the uh, uh, This one also like the newdayhealthcare.com and uh, one more which I shared with you, the like breakfast chef uh, these are like uh, good names which i bought from like uh, godaddy uh, like close out and uh, one name which i shared with you the mercator.net this one i bought it for like uh, from like godaddy auction platform not from like close out and you can see the websites all website also i sold it for like 14000 dollar like Yes, $14,000 is uh, more than yeah. 10 lakhs rupees. You can see who bought this name. The Sitco company uh, bought this name. Wow. Uh, I, uh, yeah, uh, I bought Sitco. that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I got like uh, offer from GoDaddy broker uh, from this company. So I accepted that. Okay, offer. from which platform did you buy this domain? Uh, GoDaddy auction. <laughs> yeah, I paid uh, not too much. Uh, I paid around like $350. I and, think. Uh, okay, okay. And see, uh, my friends, uh, you don't think like there are so many domainers, like hundreds of domainers or thousands of domainer in this world. And domaining community is so small. Uh, yeah. There's not more than, you know, thousand domainers who uh, hunt for these domain names. And don't ever think you will net you will not get good domain name because every night lakhs of domains are expiring and you can acquire any domain anytime. And there's a disclaimer: I don't own any site. Okay, I don't own GoDaddy. I don't own Namejet. I mean, we are just uh, you know uh, sharing our knowledge with you. That's why I'm like uh, sharing the uh, buying price of that domain names also with you. Yes. Because it will help you that uh, don't go for like any uh, like higher option. Uh, you can buy a name uh, like uh, 
between like uh, fifty dollar to one fifty to two hundred dollar, you will find the good names also in this uh, like range. Either you can use the close out if you uh, have a good knowledge of filters, and if you if you have a like good list of keywords uh, like which I have, then you will uh, like that. You will you will able to find like good names from this uh, uh, close out and uh, expire auctions also. So, so any question uh, like Jep at all, sir? Yes, sir. No. Hello. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, what is your name? Close out first. Close out uh -huh. this one. Then we can have uh, we can take some questions. Okay. Okay. Questions you take. Yeah. So, so, what's your view on like dot for dot in TLD? Dot in I don't buy like dot in TLDs, but uh, some other, specific reason for that. I am into like dot com and. Uh, Mayank. Mayank Kumar. Yeah. Mayank Kumar. Yeah. 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 Yes, you can DM Jaya sir about like dot in names. If you have any question regarding research or any keyword or any close out, then you can ask me here. Hi, okay. sir. This is Shashank. Uh, basically, I have a question. Uh, if there is a company started very uh, recently uh, and that company domain name is registered on dot com domain and that company has not buy his dot in extension. So did uh, we can buy it or not? No, the see, I would like to answer this question. Yeah. If somebody is having dot com, never ever go for country code TLD, like CCTLD, like dot in dot UK or something else. Okay. Because firstly, there are very less chances they'll buy your domain. And secondly, that will consider the bad faith. Bad faith means in the law terminology that you have booked that domain just to sell to dot com owner so i mean we never encourage uh, you know i mean uh, to abuse anyone's trademark to anyone's uh, you know it's not like that ki if somebody is having dot com, you book dot in and you know pitch them for sale. Remember one thing: there are lakhs of domain expiring daily, and millions of possibility of uh, you know uh, 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 creating your domain name daily. Then why should you go for dot in of any dot com extension? Because there could be billions of dot ins or dot uk mm. or dot jpr please of dot com. Mm. Right. Yes. If it is a generic word, you should book any CCTLD. That's always a premium. You want to uh, guys? Urban? Yeah. Yeah. Guys, uh, I find one name. Let uh, start with like let research with this name, the Waypoint Counseling. Uh, I use like .db first and. Uh, So here you can see uh, there are like two extensions .co.uk and .ca are registered. Now you can do one thing. You can open that extensions also and see their sites are like live or not. The private site, this one. And this My one is... Private mm, site. Uh, wow, Canadian site. Yeah, now you can uh, use this also. Waypoint counseling. Waypoint counsel. Waypoint counseling. Dot com. Dot uk. Sorry, au. So, Japet also. This name is very uh, good, and we can go for this name also.
now you can see their history also you can check the history also why this name is have a potential because this name have like age around like 11 years ago and uh, the estimated value i don't see the estimated value for the name but uh, sometimes it will help you for it there are three to four potential leads for this name you can see dot com council dot com yeah yes sir what you say about like waypoint counseling dot com see waypoint counseling is uh, uh, three word for me okay yeah. if if this has a website yeah related to that only and i will also check uh, yellow pages like in india olx.in quicker.in and uh, in uh, us i check i will check yelp.com and other us classified sites whether they are exist or not if they are exist i would definitely going to book domain name but what I think, if there are, you know, two or three potential customer with the, this three word domain name, because see, I considered it, it as a three word, way, point, counseling. Okay. If there is not more than two or three client, I will definitely ignore that that name because there is lacks of names are expiring. I should uh, stick to best name for me. You know, uh, I mean, 10 on 10 name for me because we don't need to see domain names are expiring daily, but we don't need to book domain name daily. I have one domain name a week you will have 52 domains in a year and and also also follow your budget also if your budget doesn't permit then have one good name in a month 12 name in your kitty is good just know the you know basic fundamental of listing that domain name basic fundamental of you know Pricing that domain name for sale that we are going to cover in the next webinar. Please carry on. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. So, guys, I am seeing there are three uh, buyers for particular waypoint counseling.com because, uh, like Jasser said to you, there are not too much customer for this particular name. Uh, which I showed you in like Turner therapy. There are a lot of uh, people and lot of buyers there because they are using Turner therapy in their name. But still there are potential users. You can see uh, the waypointcounseling.ca. If you buy this name, uh, if we buy this name for like only $5, I think maybe the price is $5, I think, sir. So not too much. Plus like this. If you want to uh, sell this uh, for like $100 or 150 $200, then it will be flipped uh, soon for you. And if you are like demanding around like five, uh, like 5,000 or 3,000 or 2,000, then maybe uh, it will sell or maybe not. So uh, these wow. are the... Wow. Yeah. Go to that domain name. <laughs> The age of domain name is important. You know, the age of domain name is 11 years. Yeah. Can you do who is for me? This listing is closed. No so. problem. We are just explaining to our attendees. Can you do uh, who is for me? Yeah, sure. Let me try. Because uh, this is a like close out. So it will be transfer after like three to five days, I think.
Sir, I am missing something. Uh, who is dot com? Sorry. Who is dot com? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, registered or maybe like renew. And how much amount we are getting for this domain? Only $5. Can you also Google this keyword? I mean, do they have any classified or like what? I did it like the waypoint counseling and... Uh... Here I got like two, one, two. Uh, there are some like Facebook page also. You can consider the LinkedIn page also. LinkedIn, okay. And uh, you can see... Counseling.com.au also. Yeah, you can see the Twitter page also. If you see there are 200 like followers. Oh, for 200 plus followers is good for uh, Twitter yeah. at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in, yeah, yeah. In Facebook, you can have many. Okay. Yeah. So, and, uh, you know, think one more thing. If you are going to book 20 domains, you cannot sell every domain unless you are luckiest person in this world. Okay. So think if even one single domain sells out of 10 or out of, out of 20, even out of 100, you are going to recover all the money of 100 or 20 or 10 domains and make the profit. Yeah. And uh, uh, I mean... This one is like good. Uh, this domain one, is... I like that name. But the listing is closed actually. <laughs> Someone boy. Otherwise, <laughs> I, otherwise, I would have booked this domain name because... In this with this domain name, you are getting 11 years of age. That means if somebody searches in who is, he'll get, you'll be having this domain name since 2013. Yeah. This is the magic of GoDaddy closeout. This is a magic of GoDaddy auction. Yeah. See, 2013. I have good maths. <laughs> <laughs> so, See, give some more examples so that we can book some domains or before we are, we, someone can mine some domains. We were going to buy this name, but uh, someone picked up. <laughs> Vinesh Bhaskarla, I didn't pick that. Vinesh is so smart in picking domain name these days. Yes. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if you have a like potential keyword list, then there are a lot of opportunities because before that I like searching for therapy and uh, now counseling now uh, just so you tell me any keyword you like any industry you want uh, to see uh, 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 industry wise you can uh, go for hotel if you hotel. Know, you can convince hotel See, hota kya hai ki like you should follow your niche which you understand. If you yeah. from travel in industry, you should book domains around travel, around hotel, around something else. If you are from like dentistry industry, you can book domains around dentistry industry. Okay. If you fall into like like you know I, I don't belong to any industry, so just pick one or two niche. Learn from Google and pick the niche and you know trying booking domain name under that niche right this is huh, if and if you master one niche like if you know if you pass your beginner level and become a graduate then you can shift your niche two niche three niche five niche ten niche we don't care actually but you have to earn money Sometimes selling, uh, you know, one or two domain names, what generally our attendees do, they buy 50 or 100 or 200 domain names. 
they take loans from the bank to book domain names. No, you don't need to do that. And believe me, we are not getting anything out of that. Like if you buy, you know, any domain from Big Rock or GoDaddy or any, uh, you know, name.com or any website per se. Go slow, learn first, have a sense of what is the good domain name. Uh, you know, uh, watch out our, our more webinars, go to our YouTube channel, learn first, then pick one or two or three domain names in a quarter. I mean, not having quarter, in a quarter, right? Let's say two, three domains in three months. Yeah. See, uh, uh, in this case, Harmandeep, uh, when I do, uh, you know, search for the GoDaddy closeout, then what I prefer, I always keep hotel word at the last. Okay. Because, you know, Very nice. because brand names, they don't want, they want, uh, like Jai Hotel, Manish Hotel, Mohan Hotel, uh, Krishna Hotel, Zef Hotel. Okay. They don't want Hotel Zef. Okay. Because prominent is hotel is at the last. Not hotels, not plural, singular one. And, yeah. You, uh, uh, and yeah, yeah. KCC Hotel. Oh, where, where, this KCC Hotel is having 123 what? Traffic. Okay, can you see what KCC Hotel was in the web archive? Yeah, sure. KCC hotels. Wow. Hotels. So maybe uh, this one is like used by like their team or their No staff. problem. But, uh, but on the kcchotel.com, there is a website of exactly. KCC hotels. And that may yeah. be some kind of, uh, you know, software or something like that. You can also Google it. Yeah. KCC Hotel. And KCC Hotel is Bani. Kibaha. And uh, I mean, where is this place, Kibaha? Tanzania. Okay. And uh, they are like still, if you check the domain name, the KCC Hotel, they expired, I think. Maybe. Just, just click on the website. Review. Yeah. There are like 403 Google reviews all there. Uh -huh. just, just check the website. Website, if I click on that, like they will. <laughs> KCCHotel.com. Wow. <laughs> so this one is available. See, and, and see, it is not. I mean, it's not that sure why... you buy your domain, but there are chances. There are high chances. So yeah. what I say. I say if you book 10 domains, 20 domains, even one potential buyer, you know, buys a domain name, you will make profit, good profit. Maybe but, uh, the domain name getting traffic uh, from Google. And, 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 and there's one more thing. The GoDaddy uh, appraisal value of that domain name. I always say don't fall for the appraisal value, but... Yeah. Here, here is an indication that appraisal is 1,15,000 rupees. Okay. So you can book this domain name. <laughs> See, uh, uh, I'm going to book this domain name right yeah, away. It's more like $50, sir. $50. Okay. Then, then I would like to tell you one more thing. 
This is under Godaddy close out, right? Seven years age, close out. Godaddy close out, right? What is yeah. Godaddy close out? Godaddy close out is a kind of reverse auction for expiring domains, for domains that is expired. What is reverse expiry auction? That means today you can buy this domain for $50 and tomorrow, what will be the price, Herman? $40. $40. And day after tomorrow, what will be 30. the price, Herman? $30. 30. You can day see after, the 30, 11, and, and, and 5. And, and that day after day after tomorrow, that price will be $31. No, 11. Huh, sorry, $11. Then and, and 5. at the last day, fifth day of the auction, you can get this domain for $5. $5, $5, $5 plus the renewal fee. Obviously, if this domain is expired, you have to spend renewal fees as well. Renewal fee could be, I think, ten to twelve dollar, right? Yeah. So ten to twelve dollar plus this five dollar, seventeen dollars. Me or kya milega? Jaan loge kya hamari? I mean, this KCC hotel is good domain. I mean, I'm not saying. See, uh, like as Har Harmandeep just said. Like this domain name is sell for $50. I would like to wait for three, four more days so that this domain comes under, uh, comes for $11 or $5. Then I will buy this domain. Yeah, you can buy this name. Uh, this can you, domain. can you, Herman, list out those domains which is available for 5 or $11 so that uh, I mean, poor people like me can buy. <laughs> you can see the price, minimum price, 5 or 11. You can that, maximum price 12. Anyway, uh, I would Please. like to, you know, uh, I mean, tell you one thing. I have sold three domains in the last month for low to mid five figure USD. Means... I have sold three domains, price ranging between ten thousand dollar to twenty thousand dollar, to the wow. startups of India, and wow. and to the some of the startups are, uh, I mean, they had investment from the shark shark tank. Wow. wow. Is that good or not? Good, very good. And 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 in the past, I sold multiple domain names uh, of more than hundred uh, k dollar actually. Like uh, I mean, keyword domains dot io for stock market for crypto companies and all. Somebody has asked some questions. See, uh, Mustafiz, uh, I, what I do, I actually run LinkedIn ads with my GoDaddy or Afternick make an offer or buy no link. Okay. I run LinkedIn ads to target those kind of audience. Then they come to me in a way. I'm trying to do outbound activity, but they are coming to me as an inbound customer. You can say this is mix of something, you know. Uh, Mohammed has asked one question, Mr. Harmandeep, do you check search volume for domains? Very good question. Yeah, if good domain question. is good, if domain is good, there is no need to search for uh, check for search well volume. Even you don't need to search for if this domain has bad track record or not. Just have that domain for two years. Every bad record, every bad spam, spam score vanishes with time. Uh, Harman, your take on that. We are on search volume. Yes, yes. Uh, for what kind of domains do you check search volume? Uh, for single word or sometimes the keyword names. Any, 
any name any name the you can see marketer marketer like uh, check with like uh, i am like using like google uh keyword tool you know about that like very well and you can see the cpc also there uh let me check the google will open or not you can use this tool or any other tool also <clears throat> yes you can see uh, the term marketer which i like bought that name dot net and you can see the average search volume is uh, this and uh, the cpc of that particular like maybe like 0.8 dollar i think the 74 rupees uh this one so sometimes i like look for uh like go the google search volume but sometimes not because every domain have like particular uh like structure because this one is like a single word name and that's why i use that like monthly searches then i go to then yes, I go sir. to like dot db. Yes, sir. this is single word name and this is kind of brandable name. See, yeah. for me, search volume or CPC is important for uh, EMDs, exact yeah. yeah. domains, and exact domain. exact match domains actually. Yeah. Yeah. Any other question? Thank you for sharing with us. My question, you said what list keywords to target, how to create. Please share some tips. I so, hope now we should move for uh, expireddomains.net, right? Okay, sure. Because we will take questions at the last, but please uh, don't, uh, you know, ask us to appraise your domain name tonight. Yeah, we will not going to We will appraise your domain name Join the group. We will appraise your domain name there. You know, yeah. this is not a good time to appraise your hair code or printdoor.com. Just come to the group. We will tell you there. What yeah. about email marketing? About email marketing? About outbounding? About how to outbound? How to email your uh, prospecting uh, your prospects? We will cover this thing in next webinar. Today, we will be covering how to select, how to handpick good domain, good domain names from GoDaddy Closeout, expired domain names, and name that. Thank you. So let's start with like expired domain names. You please make uh, an account on this. Maybe yeah, multiple filter. Batado, jo jo kaam ke hain, aag laga do aaj. Wow. <laughs> so. First of all, we start with like a marketplace. Here you can see the GoDaddy, close out, expired auctions, exp auctions with bids. And uh, let's start with like close out. And here you can see uh, the filter show filters. So these are the like filters, the filters which I use mostly, uh, you can check like no numbers. I don't use, uh, I don't buy like number names. Uh, and uh, don't want to use hyphen names also. Ajay Maybe. Shah, uh, I can see the screen actually. I think everybody can see the screen of Herman of expireddomains.net. Uh, huh, Abhishek said yes. PK Akshay said yes. Uh, I think Ajay, there's some problem uh, with your internet, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, internet connection. You can connect again, Ajay. Uh, somebody asked, Rishab asked for please appraisal group link. See, there is no appraisal group link, but you can join our WhatsApp group so that we can appraise or we can say your domain is good or bad or average there itself. Because in this webinar, we have limited time. 
so we yeah. cannot appraise anybody uh, everybody's domains thank you so much yeah thank you so here you can use these filters that if i want to like english name one to three word maximum you can use this and uh, additional you can use like the tlds you can use dot net also if you want to find dot net dot org dot biz dot com you can start with that dot com and now you can filter them So here you can see 80,000 names. Wow, much. Wow, wow. So you can like use the characters, the, like characters also, which you, I told you, like if you have a keyword, therapy, counseling, hotel, uh, more, health. Now you can see the the names are like seven sixty nine filter domain names uh, from this, and now uh, you can use this like you can see the list. Uh, here I do one thing. Uh, here I use like two hundred domain names per list. So guys, you can see the registrations like there are some TLDs. So you can use the, like age also. You can use the TLDs, how much TLDs are registered in that name. So here you can start. And you can see the price of that GoDaddy also. Like it is of like $5. Here you can start with like your research. Pro Health Institute. Pro Health Institute. Sir, any name you can uh, you like from this list? Mm. Soulful health, Minishua health, Woodshot health. See, sir. See, first we have to do Google search, check dot db. Yeah. Uh, I mean, check on dot db. Uh, but dot db is uh, at that time if you are like using. Uh, this close out then you have to use like dot db either you can see there are some names registered in pro health institute there are like three names you can click on this now you can see uh, there are other extensions which are also uh, for selling on godaddy like there are more like yes, yes. If, see, if, if they are on sale see what is my style if uh, you know if I'm liking any dot com, if uh, if that dot org or dot net is for sale, I don't buy that that dot com. If somebody has developed website on dot org dot net dot co dot io dot cctld, then I'm going to buy that domain name. And if I search on dot db, if I find uh, the longer name, the longer name that the domain name which I'm going to book, I'm going to buy that domain name to pitch that domain name. Hey, I have a shorter name than yours, right? A shorter name, if you like to buy a shorter name, then you can put yeah. word That's names two. Two? here. Yes, yes. And uh, beginners, don't go for number, don't go for hyphen hyphenated names also sell but why to book hyphenated names if there are so many names expiring daily yeah and what are therapy cubes i am liking this name therapy cubes wow this is a brandable this is a brandable name any thera therapy companies can use this I, and 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 I, I also can suggest any startup to buy this domain name. Therapy Room, Therapy Mart, Therapy Works. Uh, this is a I good see, name. Label. This is Not Therapy bad. Cubes. Just uh, uh, type in uh, chat, just uh, paste in chat box. Yeah, sure. Hey guys, if this domain name is not sold for $50, then tomorrow price will be Harman. 
40. Day after tomorrow? 30. Then 11 dollar, then 5 dollar. If you get this domain name of 5 dollar, buy it. Otherwise, I, I'm going to buy it. Okay. If you bought this domain name, you can sell me this domain name for double the price. Yeah, I have one more name, therapystudio.com, you know. <laughs> what? Therapy Studio? Yeah, I have therapystudio.com also. Or, uh, that is fantastic name, man. You can. Yeah, I got like a lot of uh, offers. Oh my uh, goodness, you can sell this no, domain name for even five figure. More than $10,000. This name has so powerful. And uh, you have bought this domain name from uh, which platform? Maybe the GoDaddy auction, I oh, think. Oh, my goodness. See, can $9,000? I got like a $3,000 offer from some uh, like... Uh, I, I mean, uh, I mean, you must have got this domain name for, name for $50 or something. If you no, are getting uh, this domain name for $3,000 offer... Yeah. Fantastic. You can hold this domain name for three years, five years, even ten years. Yeah, I am like holding from last two to three years. <laughs> Wonderful. And, uh, and you know, I am rejecting around like uh, 12 to 13 offers for this name because... Uh, oh my God. See, there are domainers who say like, I am not getting offers. Here, Harmandeep is Declining offer, 12, 13 offers for one domain name. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? That you should have a good domain name. Uh, yeah. Somebody uh, raised uh, one question, Harman, I think in the group. I mean... Uh, you have different landing page, Harmanji. Means? Different landing page. What landing page you have? I am using my own landing page. Oh, like. this is good, man. Because in Namoxi.com, Harman is having the link of buy at GoDaddy. Trustable yeah. website. And the buy at Cedo.com. And he is also giving an option to sell domain via Scrow.com. Then what kind of uh, landing page you want? Please uh, I mean, suggest us. <laughs> because as far as trust is concerned, he is having GoDaddy, he is having Cedo, he is having escrow.com with us. Let me share you one sale with you, the Boost Factory. Yeah, please. Uh, the customer uh, landing to my page and uh, he or she maybe clicked on like buy at GoDaddy. Wow. And he bought that name from like uh, GoDaddy else also the tier the tier.org which i sold for nine thousand dollar uh from like godaddy wow. this one also nine thousand dollar that means that means customers are surfing the web page at herman's websites but the buying domain from trusted one like godaddy and cedo i agree that namoxi is you know for some people see who knows Herman? I mean, there are many dominers in the world who knows Herman very well. They buy domain names from directly Namaksi. But who don't know? They might buy from uh, GoDaddy or Cedo. But uh, but in that case, Herman is having listing at Cedo as well, GoDaddy as well. Obviously, after Nick. Yeah, after Nick because I listed on after Nick and. Uh... The buyer can buy from any platform if you list it on, like, listed it on after Nick, also on Cedo. Uh, there is one comment from Bakir last week sold easytherapy.com $550. What do you think the retail price for this domain? For me, it is two to three thousand dollars. Yeah, <laughs> same. Bakir, you sold so cheap. It should yeah. be therapy is sold very for good. two to three thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> this is there is no theme behind Namoxi. I created it myself. Sir, 
Samir is asking which host sing. You can use like uh, host getter. Either you can go for cloud hosting also. Manoj has asked tier dot org was outbound or inbound. Both. Ah, both mix of both. Like I say, sometime for a good domain, I run a LinkedIn ads. Yeah. And uh, see, in a way, I'm doing outbounding through LinkedIn ads, but in different way, I'm generating leads, which is inbound for me. Yes. Because every sale uh, give me some experience. There is a like lot of stories behind domain name when I bought, when I got offer and how much days uh, it will take to close that deal. And uh, let me show you one name also. Uh, Sabo.co. I bought that name three years ago and uh, when I bought after five days, I got an offer from this. Maybe you know about like this brand name if you are from Australia, Sabo Skirt. So their director bought this name and uh, it has been like for the three, the negotiation goes on like three years and I sold it for like uh, $4,500. You like, sold to this uh... This brand, saboskirt.com? Yeah, Sabo. The and, director of like saboskirt.com. And what domain you are having? Sabo.co. Sabo.co. So it teaches us. Like if somebody is having two words domain, if you get, you know, uh, a one word in .co, even that sells. Yeah, this is a, this, this was a potential buyer. I know about that. Uh, because the negotiation goes for like three years. Oh know? my God, three years. See, I sold one domain for 120K dollar for an Indian yeah. 1 lakh 20,000 dollar. That 20, is $20,000, dollar, yeah. Rupees after three years of negotiations. But that paid well. Yeah. <laughs> so, therapy cures is very nice. If it goes to like five dollar, then I will try if to five or even ten dollar. I will definitely eleven dollar is not like too much for that. Like, uh, ten is also fine because sometimes what happens if you wait for eleven or you know thirty dollar, yeah. some other dominers might might buy it. It also happens. Yeah. Uh, search me some domains for 10 to 11 or 5 to 11 dollars per month so that poor chap like me. Five can... per... Okay, okay, okay. So you can use this filter also. Either you can go to filter and minimum price there like 11, uh, sorry. Yeah, put Just... that. 5 to 11 dollar. 5 to price 11 dollar. Mm -hmm. So here Sati are some said, names. Sati Health. Sati. SatiHealth.com. Uh, can you Google it? I mean... Sure. Here are the essentials which sold in this uh, name. Dot org is sold. Uh, hey guys. Uh, uh, ju just check websites or keyword. About Sati Health Data Company in Mexico. While followers. No so, data. It, so where is my credit card? <laughs> <laughs> see, uh, uh, see, how you find this domain name, Harman? I find uh, this name. Huh. See, uh, I use these keywords. No, no. Uh, how you find this domain? Uh, I, if domain name is good, uh, I mean, uh, uh, as per your parameters. I have to check a lot of things because... Please check the things because I found my credit card and I'm going to book this domain name right away. <laughs> huh, yes, if someone else wants to book, 
they are welcome because this is community and i am not the boss <laughs> i'm also community uh, volunteer you can say yes now i'm at godaddy auction and this is sati health this is remember memorable domain also because i could remember that name you buying these kind of like names and you know about that very well and uh, satiwhite.com uh see uh, when i uh, like write this name satihel.com.au and it will go to this site satihel.com.au like redirecting on this name but uh, uh, i think uh, satihel.com is already gone i cannot find this domain is in uh, expired domains is this deleted domains or new one close out but uh, somebody bought somebody bought domain sells in every 5 minutes every seconds forget 5 minutes oh my goodness i was going to book this domain name and this is so no problem check will check for more domain because i have opened my godaddy close out account and i'm with my credit card also the this uh, the waypoint counseling which we like find uh, found in like godaddy close out i would like to go for 5 to 11 dollars to me it is also gone it is also gone oh my goodness search for more previously which i which... <laughs> which we agora therapy heroic therapy nerdy health healthcare athletes lot of good names but if you like uh, search on it then you will get a good hotel grand widow there is some disturbance sir i have uh, muted that person okay helpful venture not double uh, bakir as uh, to you harman how many domains do you buy per week from last three months i don't i didn't buy anything so honest. maybe one or two yeah honestly see because sometimes because i am in... uh, as yeah. as, sorry, sorry. Uh, i mean uh, my things are concerned sometime i i buy 3 400 domain names in uh, you know four or five days but <laughs> at the end of the day i figured out that i wasted money because buying 3 to 400 domains and is not good sign you know just buy your best one one or two domain names per month uh i mean in a no, in normal days i buy three four domains in a month in a normal month in i buy three four domains in, in a month otherwise maximum 10 domains not more than that yeah previously uh, i say uh, somebody has uh, somebody has asked question amit how to sell our domain names on godaddy i have two domain names and i want to close those website the websites are live on them uh, is also running google adsense the best platform to sell your name is i'm um, typing here uh go to this site manoz or also list out your domain name here hey i have given you three website see if you have a website if you are running a google adsense then flipa is good sir therapycubes.com gone han ji therapycubes.com gone are yaar what domain you are <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay such as some other domains like i want to book one or two domain names 
from where you mostly buy domains, Harman sir? Somebody has asked question. See, if you want to buy good names at cheap price, then go for like closeout. Either oh, daddy, closeouts. Yeah, do that. Because you, do sometimes do you find twenty years old domain for five dollar, five dollar plus renewal fee. Renewal fee is yeah. ten to twelve dollar, whatever it is. Yes, if you have good money, then you can go for like auction platforms. But before auction, you have to get some experience in domain industry. Don't buy like bad names, creepy names at yes. like three hundred, five hundred. First, you learn then. You can go for like auction platforms. Always go slow. Always go go slow because whatever money you are spending, that are not coming to us. <laughs> so now other names, Harman. Yeah, I have my credit card ready with me. Use that credit card as soon as oh, possible. Oh, beauty therapy. Ah uh, ah. Uh, Beauty I... therapy, but is it not like? Uh... Oh, spelling is not correct. Yeah, <laughs> I and like health... that name, but uh, if there is like, uh, and health thriller dot com is not going good because health is also premium keyword. Thriller is also also premium keyword. If you combine with health thriller, what does that mean? Nothing. So leave it. Red profit healthcare. Awesome. See, if you have a good list of like keywords, then there are more chances to get good names because you can see I put uh, here only four keywords. You can find good names daily. You got like you will get good opportunities if you have a good list of good keywords you can put them here one by one or like in the like uh, bulk also just and put down those keywords guy then you can compete with herman also <laughs> yes ajay bilkul true always cross check the trademarks but if that domain is dictionary word then don't no need to check trademarks. Yes, yes, sir. Now tell me. Are you show me some good domain names? I have chosen a couple of names. You said that domain names are booked. Yeah. One more thing you can check uh, that if you don't have a keyword list don't use that you can use the additional filter and you can use the tld registered in that oh if my you like, God. yeah yeah you can use you are like, telling the secret the deep secret of the domain name uh if you want uh to buy like dot in uh like dot com domain which are already registered in dot in then you can check that and uh now check the names and uh, so one by one, you can check. Uh, there are a lot of opportunities. Then uh, you will get from this also Niton Pay, Mahakart. So here you can find the Hindi names also. Uh, maybe Jasser like the Hindi names. Uh, uh, Jasser, what you? No, I don't have Hindi. No. I have Hindi names, but very vanity kind of names like Bakwas, Ungli kind of name. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. No problem. Either you can go for co dot uk. Either you can go for like. Uh, you see, dot... you go for dot co. Dot co. Okay. Here is a recipe, secret recipe. Herman is searching the dot coms which are available, but dot co's are booked. Yeah, because lot of startups go uh like buying dot co names because of dot com were not dot available com was not available that time when they were searching the name because dot com was booked by someone else i mean 
they can be some company, some domain investor or some individual person, right? And you can have a filter. If .co is registered and .com is available, show me that name. See, duly, dulcis, uh, dulkislab.com. Yeah, Dulkis Lab. Lab is a like popular. See, this word. is three uh, years old domain. I mean, yeah. I mean, see, uh, like, uh, I mean, as I say, every domainers have different kind of style. I prefer domain, I mean, uh, which are, you know, more than five years old. And two words, two words, that's all. Okay. So, uh, I mean, if I go for uh, other name, Anna Dosa. Oh, wow. Anna Dosa .com is so, I mean, we have Anna Idli store in uh, 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 our city. Okay. Anna, Anna Dosa is also, I mean, it can be a good brand. Ah, Anna Dosa. Mm. Can you see the web, ar web archive of this domain? Yeah, sure. See, for non-Indian audience, dosa is a food, is a type of meal which is very popular in southern part of India. Dosa is their main course. No. Nothing. If you find nothing, then forget it. No, I don't. I <laughs> Vinesh. What do I like? Vinesh, 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 brother Dosa. Anna Dosa. See, uh, we have Anna Idli uh, here in my city, we have a very famous chain. Bing Torrent, Chick Twist, Brio Mix. Yeah, one thing I add, like uh, <coughs> someone said that, uh, did you consider the. <laughs> CPC for the name. Here you can see the search volume for particular keyword uh, there and also their CPC, which uh, at that time I used like Google AdWords tool for this. But in this uh, expired names, you can use this filter to consider like the volume and the CPC also. This Brio mix, Brio mix. Brio mix, okay. This is sounding brandable names to me. Yeah, Brio mix. Tetramix.com, pure mix. <laughs> what is the oh, age of the domain name? Four years. Okay. Can you Google it? Yeah. Or uh, can you, uh, I mean, dot .db it also? Biomix. Biomix. Supplement. It was supplement, I think. Yes. Oh, yes. I mean, there is no other names than .com or .es. So, yeah. I mean... This is not passing our parameters. Yeah. Yes. Now we can go for another name. Yeah. We can ignore this name because we have so many names. We should ignore even average names. Not every name is like good after research. Like you have to check these things. Mental fedectics. Berlin Studio. Rice Club. <laughs> Lala Tax. Wow. Lala Tax. Me dekho pehle kya tha, bhai. Lala Tax. Lala means in India a shopkeeper. Lala Land. Lala Games. Lala is a 
Hindi word. I mean, Hindustani word, you can say. Yeah. Maybe the age of the name is one year it is showing, but the age is Sapna hmm. Dance from Pankaj. By Pankaj, Pankaj Kumar SEO Wale. Wow. Okay, he's a like Pankaj Kumar SEO. No, Sapna Dance is also not good name. See, you should book the names which uh Good companies can acquire, good brand can acquire, good product selling can acquire, not an individual person because individual person may not give you a good money. Sometimes I see the industry behind that and the person behind yes, that. Yes. See, you think yourself, I mean, suppose you are looking for a, you know, a company which sells comb or you are looking for a company which sells a water bottle water bottle huh or if you are looking for a company which sells power bank or you are looking for a company which sells air purifier see for the in case of air purifier the ticket size is higher maybe 200 300 dollar but comb sells for five to ten dollars. So, okay, you have to see how much your potential buyer is earning and how much your potential buyer can benefit it from your domain name. Right? You have to sell those factors as well. Yes. Here you can like use other extensions also. If you want to check with the .net, .org, you can use .org also. And uh, But if you are beginner, then always go for .com. Don't go for .net, .org in the beginning. And it is for you good like if you are beginner, then use this like uh, .com for like flipping domain flipping. Okay. So, any other questions? Uh -huh. so, First domain name question. is so negative. Never buy, never ever buy negative domains. Okay? Yeah. Never ever buy negative domains. Heyco.com, what do you think? See, if this domain name is showing at uh, expired domain list or you are having it. If you are having it, please don't ask tonight us for appraisal. Appra appraisal we can do in the group, WhatsApp group. Uh, Sir.com.com, Bookskin, PublicThankYou.com, SuccessEagles.com, Bounce Handlers, Chris Face. Can you go down? See, domain researching is a not easy task. This is difficult task, but it will become easy when you learn. Like we can easily skip some of the domains, right? Niche Anawa. Please explain negative domains. Okay, negative domain. Negative domain, a uh, first domain the hop. Can you see this first domain? <laughs> Even I cannot, uh, uh, you know, I mean, say this domain name online. This is negative domain. 
Okay. If it says about some crime or some negative social things, don't never ever buy the domain name because firstly, nobody is going to buy the domain name. Okay. If, if you have this domain name in your in your portfolio, people will you hate, people will hate you. Success T Seagulls. Mm -hmm. I'm not liking this name. Can you please share with us your strategy on building your keyword list? See, as far as keyword is concerned, you can always see keywords change every year, every moment, right. every decade, That's you time. can say. Yeah. Okay. But <laughs> and and you have to always uh, be updated for the keywords and Google is the best help for you. Google Keyword Planner and Google Trends. Okay. And there are some forever uh, keywords also like hotel. Hey, Harman, you can add something. Yeah. Therapy, counseling, dentist. And uh, if you are talking about like gambling industry, the, the bet, bet keyword poker, Casino, these are the keywords you can use. See, uh, yeah. I can see good bad trauma.com also, and trauma is also a bad keyword for me, negative keyword for me, right? See, if see, I run an e commerce company, I run a SaaS company, SaaS software company, if you know, we run Facebook ads on the obviously Facebook and Instagram platform. What is their first rule? First rule is you should not use negative keyword. After seeing your advertisement, people should feel happy about it. They should not feel offended or they should not feel bad about it. Okay. They should feel happy about it that is their unspoken widely known uh i mean golden rule even they say in their facebook ads uh, tutorial also that means you should always use happy words non-negative words okay yes What do you, when some domains, first word ending letter and second word starting letter are same? Uh, Amit has asked one question that is, uh, meri chat? Aja meri, aja mari. Thank you for your session. Where to list our domain names for sale? After Nick, Seder.com and Dan.com, these are the platform. Ajay, what do you win some domains first words ending letter and second words starting letter are same? Can you give some example? Ajay? Uh, Abhishek has asked how work mindful.com. See, for me, mindful work.com is best. Not work mindful. Okay. P and Akshay, do you advise paying fee on marketplace or promoting or designing logo for your domain to increase visibility? No, you don't need to. If your domain name is good, people will buy without, without logo. your logo. <laughs> right. And if your domain name is damn good, like which can sell for 50000 or 60000 $70,000 or 100000 dollars I am saying... I mean, in crores of rupees, then of course you should make a logo. You should make a micro website like I did uh, it in past. Okay, for the premium domain names, which 
आई मीन सोल्ड फॉर मोर देन हंड्रेड के मोर देन वन वन हंड्रेड वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड डॉलर इन इंडियन रुपीज वन करोड़ रुपीज आई मेड माइक्रोसाइट आई मेड अ लोगो आई बॉट वेब एप्लीकेशन फॉर ट्वेंटी डॉलर जस्ट you know sake of running some 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 serious application on the on this domain name so that i could negotiate well that's a game actually and this game you will definitely understand when you pass your beginning beginners period actually okay and stick to dot com okay stick to dot com at least for one year of your learning okay anta antra arora.com example of a, a second word uh oh, oh, oh i got your point yes see in case of anta arora this is very much true if domain is of two words and first word is ending with the same letter which is starting of the second word is definitely a confusing domain name it is true but yeah. what yes. if you have legal lab.com legal ends with l lab starts with lab legal lab.com legal lab.com or uh, or पर से अंतरा अरोड़ा डॉट कॉम सी अंतरा अरोड़ा इज नॉट सो पॉपुलर नेम इफ यू फाइन फॉर रीता अरोड़ा आर ई टी आई आर आई टी ए अरोड़ा डॉट कॉम रीता अरोड़ा इज पॉपुलर नेम एंड मे बी अनिता अरोड़ा सुनीता अरोड़ा राइट इन दो केसेस वेर यू नो प्रोमिनेंसी ऑफ द वर्ड विंस then you should buy that think about legal lab okay forget about legal think something which ends with l digital lab dot com man i am typing that dot com digital lab dot com can you ignore this domain name no ajay no you are going to book it because your question is very right your question is very appropriate if it is if you are talking about you know normal name or you know name so in that case you should avoid it because when you write those two letters can confuse you like in this case in this case i am typing the name can you all see the name digitallab.com i have typed there is 2l in one place that's why i typed in uh, you know uh, uh, capital letter case actually as i said if you register the domain name after the tm then you might face the uh, quoting case case Uh, that's why i say you should not go for uh, trademark names actually deepak ask if someone create a brand zepto and we own the tld zepto.co. see deepak to answer your question very rightly i have many domain names on which big domain names are running their websites on dot in on hello the keyword i am owning dot com is with me but but i will not face any issue issue with that you know why because i have booked those domain names earlier earlier of those thinking that trademark or that brand name and and it doesn't matter whether they are having dictionary word or, or not see even if i i am having zepto.com with me uh, uh, right now and zepto.com brands starts after 2 years 
then they have to buy domain names from me because in this case that won't be you know bad faith but remember one thing after any brand occurs after any brand brand comes for which you have some domain names you should not park your domain names because if you park your domain names that domain names will run advertisements on your website which you are not having any control on that right in that case if in case of zepto suppose zepto is having myzepto.com and i am having zepto.com if i park zepto.com if there is any ad is running from the from the brand owner of myzepto.com that means i am displaying advertisement of myzepto.com that means i'm misleading people i'm misguiding their users that can be considered for the bad faith bad faith means you have booked domain names just to blackmail someone you have parked page you are you are showing advertisement on your domain name just to blackmail someone okay so so if by chance you have a domain name old domain name older than any new brand name any new trademark you should not park that domain name and and if i say seriously you should not keep that domain name for sale what i do i build a website i build a micro website on it and i allow let that brand to send me inquiry for a uh, for an acquisition that will give me a good fantastic price i hope that answers your questions a uh, punk uh, can we buy a product domain with color name for a white sofa.com uh, uh, you can buy but that domain is not making any sense actually so you can ignore this digital.ai is it work what is digital doing you have digital.ai pankaj if you have digital dot ai it's a good name i mean i'm not appraising it but if i have a dot com and i approach co dot dot co dot uk dot c on name website like websites yeah yes, you, you can approach them but you should not infringe their trademark okay and to check trademark you can just google it trademark database for us companies trademark database for indian companies trademark data for database for canadian companies you can search trademark there yes if it's a dictionary word then trademark is not applicable there yes yes it happens it happens because both are search engines ajay both are search engines okay if see if i have orange.com okay i can sell orange fruit on that website but i cannot sell orange dresses garments on that site because orange is a already a brand which sells garments clothing okay and orange is also a telecom provider a telco provider in many uh, countries in the world i cannot sell even mobile phone even sim cards even mobile accessories on orange.com i only can sell oranges on that com, that website or the product which the orange clothing or orange uh, telecom has no trademark has no trademark on that if they have five trademark for selling shoes 
I cannot sell shoes. If they have filed trademark for selling bottles, water bottles, I cannot sell water bottles. If they haven't filed trademark for selling power banks, I can sell orange power banks. That's the case. Samuel last check supplies.com. Is it a good domain? See, I have told you one thing. To figure out what's a good domain, think about your potential customer. Do they run ads on that keyword? Or what this domain's gonna change in their business? Or how they will make money from your business? Okay. For me, chick supplies can become e-commerce stores to sell chicks. I mean, <laughs> Ajay, yes, yes. Dhamak to mahi jayega tumhara anyway. <laughs> of course, Ajay is also right in some way, but wahan se phir ke remove karna padega, I think. I don't know sp spelling of that chick which Ajay is thinking. And uh, chick supplies is good domain, but chick supplies has limited prospects. Okay. Pranav has asked, sir, if a brand name is trademarked in the USA but not in India, should we consider buying it? And see, that should be, you know, generic or pre genic word. Like if it is a Google, Microsoft, Samsung, you cannot do that. That should not be obvious trademark. Horse supplies sold for, see, if horse supplies sold for five fifty thousand dollars, that doesn't mean you can sell cock supplies for fifty thousand dollars. You can sell bottle supplies for fifty thousand dollars. That doesn't mean that, right? Okay. Ah, uh, see, horse supplies are big business. I mean, horse rider or golf supplies, golf. Uh, player can buy heavy uh, ticket size items okay but in case in case of chicks like those chickens that not applies there some you last fish supplies fish supplies is a good domain fishing is a very popular thing Pinaksha, what you registered a trademark or domain of different country that is not a trademark in your home country is it bad faith See, P. N. Akshay, in that case, suppose I'm in America, I'm running a domain name and I have not registered trademark in India and you bought the same name in India, but if, if in as an American, as an American company, even if I have a single customer in India or single user in India in case of social media, or in case of, you know, news website, even if I have a one registered viewer, reader in India, I can sue you. Getting my point? So it is not safe, but it is always safe if you have a dictionary word. Okay. And uh, Mustafi's uh, uh, Harman, can you uh, talk about this domain, hosthouse.com? No idea. How can I set bin off for this domain, residentialattorney.com? You can put it for $299. See, if you want to get rid of domain, your domain, if you think it's an average one, get rid of it for $199. Yes. More questions to Herman. Herman, uh, can you show us namejet.com also for 5-10 minutes? Namejet.com? Uh, namejet.com. Namejet, okay. PN Akshay has, Herman, do you lease your domains if you if your asking, uh, asking price is high? Yes, one, one of my name I lease for like three to four months and after that uh, buyer like uh, don't interested to go for it. 
so that's why because the price was too high and he told me to like i am unable to buy this name can you uh, like uh, lease me so uh, for 200 dollar per month i lease them name yeah, that's a lottery for you. Namejet.com you can uh, use from uh, this expired auction also. Here you can see Namejet, Namejet, Namejet is not here now. Okay, so directly Namejet. Yes, sir. See, in Namejet, Unlike GoDaddy Closeout, see, in GoDaddy Closeout, you can have a lock of, uh, you know, buying good domain name, right? But with Namejet.com, there are hardcore domainers and Namejet is famous for, uh, you know, uh, back ordering also. Back ordering yeah. means, like, if you think, like, uh, a particular domain is expiring soon. You can back order that. That means whenever that domain name, you know, uh, whenever that domain becomes free to register, I mean, available to register, a script, a software can uh, book that domain name automatically while you are sleeping. That is back order. Back order means right? So in namejet.com, you'll find good domain names, but uh, for highly priced, sir, any two checking name availability for a bulk of words, you can check GoDaddy tool, you can check dyna.com uh, bulk domain checker. You yeah. can put, I think, 500 domain names there. In Dyna dot, uh, uh, I mean, uh, so this is namejet dot com. You can, uh, I mean, like you can see here, Akira dot com is on sixteen thousand two hundred dollar. Zaba dot com sixty nine dollar. Zaba, okay. but that's on back order, I guess. Can you click on Zaba dot com? Yeah. At zaba.com, number of bidders. bidders. <laughs> For zaba.com, there are number of bidders. 96 bidders are there. And SC bot valuation is $1,046,929. And you can back order this domain for $69. That means back order means, I mean, you are just playing a role of, uh, you know, one of these bidders. You have to bid for this domain. If you get this domain name for $1,000 tomorrow, I will buy this domain name from you for $2,000. Okay? This domain is so valuable. Yeah. It is lucky if you get this domain name for $5,000. Yeah. Maximum because Zaba.com Zaba is so easy to pronounce. Yeah, Shorter Zaba. name, four letters names. Yeah. I like four letters also. So namejet.com is a website. Biopure. You can find biopure.com is also a good name. Bright Health. See, Bright. in this website, you'll find, I mean, most of the dominants are <laughs> actually buying and fighting for good domain names yeah see there are already 65 bidder for 965 bidder for this domain name okay. and bid is already three thousand more than three thousand dollar yeah but see sc bought uh, SC bot valuation is just $169. That's why I said don't follow any 
uh, valuation tool, whether valuation it is from GoDaddy, okay. whether it is from SGBot, they are just indicator. They are they are just going to assist you. That's all. So Namejet is another tool where you will find expired domains, but mostly are in the auctions actually, right? Uh, maximum you can get like auctions and the auctions are too high here rather than like uh, other platforms. Also. Yes, in GoDaddy, you can find cheap names if you yeah. research well. In case, of, there is in, no... in case of Namejet, yeah. Namejet already research well and show you the domain names and name jet also back order your your domain names i mean they will uh, you know cash domain Everything. names before it is available for registration Market. for the normal people okay uh -huh. if you have any question ask to harmandeep okay and we have just five minutes more and i am going to add harmandeep in our group so that you can ask Harmandeep uh, in that group directly. And Abhishek, you can share that group link uh, in uh, chat itself. Are wow, Abhishek is so fast. Harmandeep, question Squad help. You are talking about squad help, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I sold Exoju. This one. <clears throat> this is a CVCV name, and I sold it for like seven thousand five hundred dollar. Like I flipped it in like three months, maybe, I think. <clears throat> Anything else? CVCV, these are the patterns you have to learn a lot about like CVCV names and learn that pattern which works better and then you, then you can go for it. <clears throat> I hope you like uh, Weekly Casino. Is it a good name? Yeah, it's a fine name. It's a nice name, I think. Weekly Casino. Yeah. I already showed you many sales uh, which I bought from Closeout and uh, some sales which I, I I don't want to like share with the peoples and publicly. So I don't share that. I already shared with you uh, more than that, like one. Yeah, sometimes what happens is uh, the domain buyers sign, uh, you know, NDA, non-disclosure agreement with us that you are not going to tell anybody that we have bought a domain name for you. Sometimes the NDA, non-disclosure agreement for the price, that you are not going to tell the price actually. So we are bound to those agreements and we should respect those agreements as well. Yeah, I sold rollingcasino.com also. And uh, maybe last year I sold it for like 11000 or $12,000, I think. I shared in Twitter. And you can see the website also. I sold from like Cedo. <clears throat> Highest domain selling up prior to motivate is no need to mention name, just the price. Uh, $14,000. Uh, like. Josman, I sold last month. Josman, okay, okay, nice. How can I see this session recording? <clears throat> yes, sir. How can I see this session 
recording <clears throat> after uh, some time you will see we will post in the youtube channel yeah i don't use sudo options uh, for the names like i only list uh, all the names on sudo platform i don't use yeah. option i am the... typing my highest sale and yeah. see, see sometime you you ask you like tell us your highest sale so we can be motivated sometime our highest sale can demotivate you right but see i mean i have seen this industry since 1998 okay and to reach this sale it took more than 15 years okay so if you are selling any 10 to 12 dollar domain names for 100 dollar 200 dollar it's a win win just think of you are getting 10 times of your investment 20 times of your investment it's a good deal actually okay yeah so last round of questions if you want to ask anything from harman you have 3 minutes left otherwise you can ask any question in the group which lenders do you recommend dan cedo sh see i rec i recommend i personally recommend godaddy lender because godaddy has a trust and and most of the end users comes you, you know they know godaddy they search in the godaddy sometime if you are selling a domain name for uh, $10000 sometime they think godaddy is selling that domain for $10000 sometime they don't know domain investor is behind it so this benefit we will get with godaddy otherwise see if you you know if you are able to sell your domain name any platform is good whether it is godaddy whether it is afternix cedar.com uh, um um uh, dan.com dana.com uh, namejet.com there are so many platforms there are so many options bigrock.in rest of the questions harman you handle you can connect me on link linkedin uh, if you have any uh, like uh, question regarding domain names i will try to help you i will uh, i will uh, i will uh, add harman in our group our domain aftermarket group tonight <laughs> or tomorrow don't pm or dm yeah. harman please don't spam our speaker otherwise <laughs> they will not come next time okay you can spam me okay i'm 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 just uh, typing my uh, mobile number okay uh, where is chat you can whatsapp me regarding your any question any domain related question not personal one okay 9781411 this is my whatsapp number you can reach me out any time and i'm going to add uh, uh, harman tonight or tomorrow in the group you can ask harman your question there okay so Not that's true. all i think that's all for tonight and uh, apart from this if we if we, if we have missed your question you can ask in the group okay so uh, we would also like to have your feedback on this webinar the 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 expertise which Uh, I mean, uh, Harman has shared practically, actually, right? So, I mean, we will be happy to see those uh, feedbacks in uh, text format, in audio format, and we would love to see that uh, in video format. If you want to, you can share that in our WhatsApp group. If you are watching this video in YouTube. till this time <laughs> thank you so much okay thank you so much and share this okay thank you harman for joining us thank you thank, thank you thank you so much thank you